Today's episode is sponsored by Geeklery. Geeklery is a curated collection of artisan-made jewelry and goods inspired by our favorite fandoms and things in pop culture. My personal favorite thing about Geeklery is that they have so many one-of-a-kind or limited edition products that their collection changes all the time. They also donate 5% of their sales to Pop Culture Classroom, which is working to inspire a love of learning, increase literacy, celebrate diversity, and build community through the tools of pop culture. If you want to check them out, go to geeklery.com and follow them all over the internet at geeklery. Before we get to the episode, we want to take a second to thank our Patreon supporters. Patreon is the way that we keep things going at the Sartorial Geek and do fun things like pay to edit and host this podcast and do our fashion challenges and print a quarterly magazine. This week, we want to thank Coral, Molly, Michelle, Lindsay, a different Michelle, and Lauren. Thank you so much. And if you want to join them, you can head to patreon.com slash sartorial geek. And we hope you enjoyed the episode. Hey, welcome to the Sartorial Geek Podcast. I'm Jordan Ellis of Jordan Today, and I am back with Jamila Rouser. Hello, how are you? Hey, Jordan. So good to talk to you again. Yeah, the last time you were here was a very long time ago, it feels like. (laughs) We were talking about your last Kickstarter, which was for Wash Day. And then you have a new Kickstarter happening right now, which is the same illustrator as Wash Day, correct? It is. It's Robin Smith. She's this amazing artist, cartoonist from Jamaica, and I'm publishing her comic, The Saddest, Angriest Black Girl in Town. It's an autobiographical comic that's dedicated to exploring the intersections of Blackness and mental health. She actually published it back in 2016, and it was named one of the best short form comics by the Comics Journal back then. And it's so good. And I loved it so much. And when I found out that it was out of print, I knew that Black Jose Press had to bring it back. And it was really great for Black Jose Press. Like it goes right with the kinds of books that we want to put out. And um, Robin's amazing. And it's just a really beautiful book. So I'm really excited to be bringing this back. And shout out to Robin Nubia. She's the artist for the new DC Comics graphic novel, Nubia, a real one, written by L.L. McKinney. And illustrated by her, which just came out. So I'm very, very happy for Rob and she's doing big things. It's honestly so cool to still hear good news in this like time of life too. I know. So, that's so I great. Know. <laughs> Anytime anyone yes. has anything exciting, I'm like, yes, please tell me. So that's so great. Well, and then more exciting news, the Kickstarter fully funded in what? The first like couple hours? Yes. Oh my gosh. It, it was wild. I was like, I was confident that we would get funded, but I didn't know it would happen that fast at all. So it was really exciting. So happy. Yeah, it was in less than a day. That's so cool. And we were able to already unlock our first stretch goal, which was Robin receiving a creator bonus, which is dope because we always want that. Yeah, I love to hear that. That's so great. <laughs> And then our next one is at $10,000. And right now, let's see, we are about almost like less than 300 away or 3,000 away. Sorry. But I think we can get it. And that's for up to 50 Jamaican residents can receive discounted shipping. So Robin is like born in Jamaica and we really wanted her folks from her home country to be able to get her comic at a accessible price because international shipping rates are really honestly out of this world. Like I can't imagine folks. And I think they're even more now than they normally are. Like I've seen they've gone up because of, you know, COVID and just life. So this is a super cool thing to be able to do. Yeah. Yeah, so we'd want to offer them the U.S. shipping rate. So we're hoping we reach that so uh, her friends and family there are able to and other Jamaicans can that are living in the country can get her comic as well. That's so awesome. But yeah, <laughs> I'm really excited. It's been a great several days so far. And like this type of project is really cool too, because like the more you raise, just the more everyone gets paid and the more books you can make. (laughs) So like the sky's the limit, which is so cool. Exactly. So when does it end again? March? So March 16th is the last day. We're a small press. And so the more that we're able to make, the more we're able to print. And with COVID happening, we haven't been able to travel for conventions and stuff. So 
We probably won't this year either. So, you know, the more we are able to make, the more we'll be able to bring to conventions next year, probably, (laughs) which is when that's happening. I'm not placing any bets on 2021. I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson to place any bets. So I have no plans ever. And then once I can have plans again, that'll be so exciting. (laughs) Right? I know. I know. I'm so excited. I know you probably miss like going to conventions and everything too. And this kind of stuff. So like, I'm glad I still have the podcast because this is the kind of thing you would learn about, you know, walking artist alley. Yeah, exactly. And I miss that so much. So I am excited for that to happen. Next, be able to talk and, and show people this book next year. It's, the whole point was just to be able to get this into more people's hands. It's a really accessible price too. Like there are really affordable tiers and then there are higher tiers that are super cool stuff. Like I just saw there's a hand painted cover. Is that what it is? I have like, yeah, hand painted cover at 150, which is so crazy and awesome. Yeah, we'll be printing these like blank interior covers. You know, like in comics, you'll get the like blank cover and you can have artists draw on it. So we're doing that, but it's going to be watercolor. Robin's watercolor is gorgeous. And so um, she'll be doing only a couple of those. Um, We're actually thinking of adding one more because they sold out or they sold out. (laughs) They were backed so quickly. Um, We only had a couple of those. So thinking of doing one more. If we do, we'll definitely announce it. Oh, yeah. I just saw that. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, Robin's like, maybe we should do one more. So if we do, I'll definitely share that on social to let folks know and, and to any backers in case they had wanted to. But yeah, I'm like, I want that. Oh, man. Do you want to talk about <laughs> how cool the cover is too? Like just the regular cover that comes with all the yes. books? It's so cool. It's really gorgeous. So I was able to make like a GIF on the Kickstarter page because it's basically like two covers. It's like a vellum cover that has like an outlined art, like line art with the title, but then you flip it and the interior cover is this gorgeous like watercolor cover. And it's these three black girls, which are, you know, represent Robin. And one is sad with these tears streaming down her face. And those tears are then streaming down the face of the girl who's angry. And then those tears stream down the back of the girls that the girl that's sad and it's just like uh, I guess it evokes so many emotions just looking at it it's really gorgeous and I'm really excited to print such a beautiful book too I'm like as a publisher I just love really cool looking prints and books and like I'm just a book lover and, and just excited about the quality of the book as well I mean, I think that's like the thing that's so cool about comics because you get a really good story and then you also get the beautiful art on every page, which is so amazing. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Is this the second comic that your press is publishing or have you done other ones between? Because Wash Day was the first, right? Yes. So this is the third. So Wash Day was the first and then we didn't do a Kickstarter for it, but we did um, Wobble D3000. Oh yeah, you like teased that at the end of our last... (laughs) episode. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, my God. That's so funny. I did. Yeah. So I wrote Wild D3000, which is a sci-fi twerking tale illustrated by Sabi Borno, which is so fun. It's about this girl who goes to the club with her girlfriends and tries to... Her plan is to twerk the night away, but twerking ain't easy. And so she is in over her head. And it's really just this like comedy of her struggling to like keep dancing to this song. So it was based off experience. <laughs> um, it's an autobio, basically. I love that so much. And you can get it actually as an add-on. You can get that wash day and, and the arts and, and sticker sheets and print and enamel pins that we have as add-ons through the Kickstarter too. So you don't have to go to the shop and, and do both. Oh, that's so awesome. Yeah. Yeah. They're doing this beta of, for add-ons, which I'm excited about. Because I know a lot of Kickstarter folks use things like backer kit and stuff like that. And so I was thinking about it, but I was glad that Kickstarter is starting to do their own. That's really good to know because I really wanted to get it and I obviously wasn't paying attention and missed it. But I have wash day and it's beautiful. And so I feel like I need to like round Thank out you. my collection. So everyone listening, if you don't have the first two, you can get them through this Kickstarter. <laughs> and wash day, we won't be selling that after probably the end of this year is the last we'll be printing it because it's going to be turned into a graphic novel and that's coming out spring next year wash day diaries wow. um, chronicle picked that up yeah me and robin oh my god it was so crazy we just didn't 
think it was real <laughs> when yeah. we were approached by Chronicle. So that was my 2020 was writing the script for that. And so Robin's been working on the art. It's so gorgeous. I'm so excited about that. But yeah, so wash day will be donezo after that. So it'll be a collector's item. So this is really a good time to get it. This is really it. It'll be in the new graphic novel, but the, you know, mini comic on its own won't be sold anymore. So that will be exclusive. Plus, that's just like a cool thing, like to get the first run of a of a comics press. That's so cool. Also, I can't believe you have your own publishing company. That's just the coolest thing. I love it so much. Thank you. It was one of those things when I was writing Wash Day, the desire to create my own was almost the same as like, I also want to see more of like black and brown, like women and non-binary folks creating like comics or seeing like their comics in the world. And so, you know me, I'm always doing something. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, this makes so much sense to me. So I was like, I, I have the desire. I know I have the skills. And so it was something that I just really wanted to do. I felt like I had to do it. It wasn't like really a question. I just immediately was like, oh, that's just it. It was my calling in a way. So it's been really exciting. That's so cool. And also like, honestly, any company or like organization or program or artist who's still working on the other side of the crazy year we've had is, it's so great. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you're still (laughs) producing comics. I'm so glad this Kickstarter. Because I still work full time. It's been a year. Yeah. (laughs) And it's going to be another year. I know that's for sure. But I know we're all hanging in there. And it's things like this that really like feel like I feel fulfilled in what I'm doing. So it's really exciting. And I'm really glad to like get all the support too. It makes me feel like this is what folks are interested in and also want to see and and read. And that's the thing that's so great because a project like this for you, it's amazing that it's still happening and like the Kickstarter is already funded and you're almost at your second stretch goal. So all of that's so exciting. But then it's also so great to be in the audience because like we need entertainment. I'm like, good stories so badly too. <laughs> so to yeah. have new things coming out is like, oh my God, please let me read this. So it's uh, everyone wins, which is great. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> so we talked about the Kickstarter and I know that's like the main thing, but is there anything else like other than, I mean, Chronicle, that's so huge, but like anything else creatively that you're working on or that you want people to know about or, you know, be following for upcoming stuff? Yeah. Yeah. We have two new books, hopefully, you know, COVID willing, that's happening this year. There's a Goongoon, which I wrote that's illustrated by Samantha Wade. And it's edited by uh, Jay Michaeline, who is the script editor for Wash Day. And so this one is, we're in the art phase of it now and hoping to do a Kickstarter for that later this year. I haven't announced too much of the story details yet. I'll probably do that in like several weeks. But it's a really like personal story about ancestry and belonging. It's very different from, I think all the books that have came out on in Black Jose Press are very different from each other. This one is, I think, leans, although I wrote it for myself, like somebody who is a grown adult, I think it leans more all ages in a way because the character, I mean, character is a child, but it's gorgeous. I'm really, really excited about it. So I can't wait to share that. And then I will be announcing a new book that I'll be also putting out later this year that will be a collection of queer erotica comics and comic poems that I'm super excited about because it's just another part of like the realm of stories that I want to share with Black Chose Press. I want to create comics for like adult women and part of that includes smut and erotica. Yeah. Because I love it. I like those are, are what I really enjoyed reading and like manga and part of a lot of my inspirations. And so I'm really excited. The the creator is amazing. So I can't wait to share that as well. Yeah, I feel like that's uh really gonna interest quite a few of our listeners. Oh, so. <laughs> Oh, uh, I can't wait. I'm really interested to see too, because it's one of those things where I think about like with Black Shows and Press, just the different types of genres that we cover. And it's just like the different facets 
people have. You know, we can love all these different genres at the same time and be huge fans of them all. And it doesn't mean we are like, it can't all be the same person. And so that's kind of what we, I want to represent is how we are not just, we are multifaceted, but there is still this kind of connection. There is this common thread, but they are still like, there's something still for everyone, which is exciting for me as like a publisher too. It's always something a little new. Yeah, that's. I was just gonna say something that I think is so cool about doing your own thing, like running your own company, or you know, writing your own stories, or building your own publication or publisher, is that there are no rules that you have to follow. Like you get to you get to pick the stories that you want to tell, and you get to look at like the gaps that you think should be filled, and you get to decide what that looks like, and that is a super cool thing that like is pretty special. So that's really cool to see what is being curated. I'm so excited to read them all. I can't wait. Thank you. I'm excited too. If anyone goes to the Kickstarter, they can find all of the links to follow both of you everywhere. But where are the best places to keep updated? So like I follow you on Kickstarter because I backed your other stuff, which I highly recommend anyone doing because then I got the email from Kickstarter before I even like saw your announcement that you had a new project, <laughs> which like everyone should know about all of your new projects. Um, so I highly recommend following your Kickstarter account. But where are the other best places to follow you for your new and up and coming comics news and projects? Black Jose Press, which is B-L-A-C-K. And then Jose is J-O-S-E-I. And then P-R-E-S-S. So it's BlackJosePressEverywhere.com on Twitter and Instagram. And then if you go there, you'll find a link to a newsletter that I have. And there I'll share also like panels that I do. In that newsletter, I'll also share stuff that's not specifically Black Jose Press, but like other comics that I do for like anthologies that are outside of Black Jose and um, yeah, other panels, things like that. So it's kind of just like my comics news, but also a lot of my comics news is Black Jose Press. So that I definitely recommend subscribing to my newsletter and I'll share discount codes to my shop. Everybody can get that 20% off, which is nice. So hit that up. And I'm also Jamila Rouser everywhere too. So dot com, Twitter, Instagram. Sweet. Yeah, I feel like especially in this time where there haven't been conventions, like there isn't as much of a way to just like organically find out about things, you know, like walking down Artist Alley or yeah. just seeing a friend and finding out. So I love when I know people who will share <laughs> news that I might not hear <laughs> otherwise. So <laughs> if you, you know, anyone listening like me is dying for new comics news, I feel like you definitely know what's out there and what's coming up. So you're a good person to follow for good stories <laughs> that are coming out. <laughs> I think that's all my questions. Anything else like about the Kickstarter that you want to make sure people know before I mean, we covered a lot of it? I think that's it. Yeah. Just, you know, we end on March 16th. Just the earlier support, the better for the campaign and just really appreciating. Even if you can't back it, just sharing it. If you go on our Twitter, retweeting any of our links or sharing it with friends that you think might be interested. Like word of mouth helps so much and it helps more than I think a lot of folks know. So that is... Thank you so much for having me. It's been really great talking to you again, Jordan. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for listening to our episode. If you want to hear more like this, you can subscribe to the Sartorial Geek Podcast wherever you listen to podcasts. And if you want to help us out, you can leave us a rating or a review or head to patreon.com slash sartorialgeek. Thank you so much. Have a great day. <laughs>